Het LUMC staat voor LUMC, the Leiden University Medical Center Academic Hospital, is one of the eight university medical centers in the Netherlands. The cardiology department in this region primarily focuses on coronary angioplasty for infarction patients. What happens during a heart infarction is that a blood clot blocks one of the coronary arteries. That's why it is so important to dissolve or remove the blood clot as quickly as possible, so blood can flow freely again and the infarction will be over. An important time indicator during a heart infarction is the door to balloon time. This starts when the patient enters the hospital and it ends when there is a reperfusion of the coronary branch. The ambulance staff begin the registration at the entrance to the hospital by filling in a form. Beyond this point, the balloon time is registered by a catheterization nurse on the patient's records. Because it's an acute situation, the time was not always registered accurately. Lots of times were missing, and you could only evaluate data afterwards. Because we knew that there was technology available to track patients and register the time automatically, we decided that we needed to improve. We got in touch with Zebra, who are strong in the field of sensor technology and the Internet of Things. After we explained our problem to Zebra, they came up with a solution that really fitted our vision. The solution we have now to measure the door to balloon times uses wristbands, which are placed on the patient's wrist in the ambulance. This wristband is recognized by tablets situated at key points around the hospital, at the emergency department door, the first aid department, the entrance to the coronary care unit, and also at the catheterization rooms where the patient receives the coronary angioplasty. With the new system, we now provide the times of the ambulance service digitally. It is a really good addition to the emergency care. Zatar uses a cloud-based system, so we didn't need to install any servers. It was really easy to implement, and the advantage of the system is that it provides very accurate time data. So the the positive effects from this solution we are now using is that the patients are now treated as soon as possible. At least, that's what we hope. In the field of cardiology, there are more opportunities to use this technology, but also in other fields like neurology, where the treatment of ischemic strokes is also heavily dependent on time. I expect that by comparing this data, eventually every doctor, every nurse, will be driven to work as fast as possible and, by doing that, deliver better care.